Hello, and welcome to Season 2 of the Bee Vlog. I realized in my previous season I never really introduced myself. My name is Bill, and I am a new beekeeper. Last April I got my first package and installed them, caught a swarm, and have been keeping two hives. Uh, right now it's winter, it's pretty cold outside. I'm in my garage, my workshop, and it's cold in here too, so I'm, it's, I'm freezing. Um, but being winter time, there's really not much to do for the bees. Uh, I've been weighing them and listening in on them to see if I can hear any activity, and they seem to be doing okay. I have one hive that has had a uh, difficulty dealing with some varroa mites. Um, they had a lot of death, and I don't hear much inside, but I hear a little bit. I think I hear something, and I don't want to open it. It's just too cold right now. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting it out and see what happens. Uh, again, I don't do any treatment. Um, you know, I have no experience that says that that's the best way, but a lot of people are telling me that that is the best way because treatments tend to do more harm than good. So I'm giving that a shot. And my thesis for my video series is that keeping bees with no treatments is easy. And so far, you know, that's the thing. You don't have to buy any chemicals. You don't have to worry about the timing of the chemicals and when it's safe to put them on and when it is not safe. Um, you just don't do it. Um, and it's that easy, I guess. So today I am doing some preparation for the coming season. I have some more equipment to build and set up, uh, set, set up, get ready, paint. Um, so the next few videos will be about you know how I build boxes, how I build frames, and paint. Um, you know, there's a ton of people doing that. It's a lot of how-to videos. I don't really plan on doing any how-to. Just show you what I do. Um, there's I have a unique way of building the frames that I don't see very commonly, but I think it's a better way, just based on you know, mechanical advantage and what happens inside the hive with all the gluing. So I'll show you that. But today, this video will mainly be about uh, a review of two different suppliers of equipment. Uh, locally, I have at my disposal Rule B Supply. They're located about 30 minute drive from me uh, in Gladstone, Oregon. And uh, I started buying my equipment there because it was local and good prices. I can go and you know, get my hands on things and feel and, and look things over and see what they have. Um, because I had never really seen any of that stuff up close before. So I kind of bought my stuff there out of, as a default. Um, this season I wanted to try out a mail order company called Kelly Bees. You see some boxes here from them. and. You know, I've heard good things about them. They have a frame that I was interested in getting that I cannot get at Rule B, so I wanted to try them out. Um, so far, I like the products that uh, Kelly B has to offer. Uh, there are some things about Rule Bs that and, and their products that I'm just a little unhappy with. Functionally, they work just fine. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So this is a frame, or frame pieces, from Rule B, and these I bought probably fall of 2012. And I don't know if you can see in the video, because the lighting in here is not great, but really rough edges on the frame, you can see on this bottom bar, it's very rough. And a lot of kind of a fur on these, this part here where they've cut, made the cutouts for the upright bars. It's just the edges are all kind of torn up. It looks like they're not using very sharp. I don't know if Rule B makes these themselves or, or if they outsource it or just get them from some other supplier, but it looks like they're not using very sharp tools and they need to take their saw blades in for some sharpening. But it's just horrible look to it. Do the bees care about that kind of thing? I doubt it. And I don't think it'll cause any problems in the hive but um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and for my purposes to me it gives me a sense of quality if there's a little bit more care in the construction. They, the frames I bought from them back in the fall of 2011 uh, before I got started actually look better. Um, you can see that the, everything is a lot smoother, the cuts are cleaner 
no no tearing up of the edges, no tear out, um, no the the edges are sm for the most part pretty smooth. It's a rough cut, but it doesn't doesn't look like it was cut by a dull blade. Um, so I was disappointed that the quality over a year had gone down so much. But then yesterday I went back to go get some more boxes from them to show it as a demonstration what their boxes look like, and I saw the old frames, um, the old style, the old quality are, are back. So I don't know if they were just temporarily trying out a new supplier for what I have here um, and they didn't like it either and then they went back to the old one. But uh, one, I'll, I'll talk more about their frames but they have only one type available and that is this wedge bar type. And since I, I use foundationless frames, I'm not installing any foundation in it, I take the wedge, um, here's, here's the top bar before it's been installed into a frame, I just take the wedge and I snap it out and uh, clean off the, the edge there. I guess this one actually came out pretty clean. Sometimes it comes out with a lot of splintering. And so I clean off the splinters and then turn it 90 degrees and glue it and nail it in place. So then they have a comb guide uh, so that they, when they hang the comb, the idea is that they will festoon from this edge here and draw the comb down in the center of the frame. Um, and that's the only style that they have available at rule B is the wedge. Um, another thing that they have in their bottom bar here is there's a, a groove and that's if you're using foundation, so the foundation can slip inside. Um, a new one. Here's the, the new bar I got from them. I, I'm not a big fan of the groove since I, I'm not using any foundation. Uh, that's a good place for hive beetles or um, wax moths to lay their eggs, and the bees can't clean it out. Uh, I've noticed that in my hives, the bees tend to try to fill that in with wax or propolis, and they'll actually make little lines and little itty bitty cells down inside there. I don't know if that's just, you know, their uh, efforts in trying to fill it. They kind of make a cell pattern first and then come back and, and fill it up or, or if that's just, you know, what happens. But I don't really like that. Um, on their boxes, the, I use all mediums, so here's, here's a, one side of a medium. Since I'm in my garage, you're going to hear the heater kick on quite a bit. So that's, if you hear a roaring in the background, it's my heater. But this, I looked, I had to look through their pile of, of boxes to find some good examples of good um, box sides. And this is really the best they have to offer. You can see all the tear out that's going on in these box joints. Um, the edges are very rough. Um, again, probably from a dull blade. You really shouldn't see this kind of stuff where it's just gnarly looking and, and when the box is assembled, all these little splinters sticking out everywhere makes it difficult to paint. I am not a fan of their boxes at all because of that. Also, the joinery is a little too tight. I haven't actually tested this box. Oh, we're too at the same end. So trying to get them together. They should, it should be a nice loose, not too loose, but a bit of a, it's a little, a little tight. I'm trying to force it together there. This is, this box is actually better than the ones I've assembled before where you have to really force it together with a hammer and it doesn't leave any room for glue. All the glue just kind of presses out. It's too difficult of a joint to get together. The problem is with the little pockets for the handles, very rough and uncomfortable to deal with without gloves. I don't know if you can see there, the roughness on that. And again, these are some of the better ones in the set. I buy, I buy their premium boxes. They have two grades, premium and commercial. The commercial have a lot of knots. Um, the premium is supposed to be not free, but that doesn't seem to really be the case. They're still, you know, and these ones, again, since I picked through, I found ones that didn't have knots. Um, but 
still pretty low quality construction. Now I compare that with Kelly Bees. I am very impressed with their box sides. I, I picked through the box and actually looked for the worst ones. And here you can see very smooth edges, very sharp blades were used to cut these nicely. There's a little bit of tear out here, actually not tear out, but just like a little bit of leftover from the cutting, but it's still a smooth cut. Um, and another nice thing they do is they pre-drill the box joints here for the nails. On the ones from rule B, I'm going to have to first pre-drill before I nail, to prevent splitting. But the ones from Kelly B come pre-drilled. Um, everything about it is very smooth and comfortable. The pockets here for the handles, very smooth, very impressed. Uh, I don't find any knots at all. And I ordered six boxes from them. Not a single knot on any of the woodenware. And the frame that they have that I cannot get at Rule B that I was interested in is specifically made for foundationless frames. And it has on it a comb guide built in, a raised section here. This is the top bar. It would obviously be installed this way. Uh, the bottom bar in the frame has no groove in it. So it, it's uh, just a solid bar with a couple notches at the end for the uprights. So there's no place for little critters to lay their eggs. So anyway, as much as I like these frames, there is one thing, maybe it's just this batch, uh, but they don't fit together very well. The joint between the upright and the top bar is too tight, and I'm worried about splitting these little fingers off. Um, oh, speaking of the fingers, let me show you what they do. On this frame, um, one of the sides is square, and the other side is a V shape. And what they recommend is putting on one side having the V facing away from you, and on the other side having the V facing towards you. So regardless of the orientation of the frame in the box, you'll always have um, a V in contact with a flat surface, and that is to minimize the contact so when the V's glue everything together, it's easier to get them apart. So given based on just the quality of construction, quality of materials, you would think Kelly Bees would be the obvious choice to stick with. However, uh, one of the things about buying online or buying mail order is uh, shipping costs. And their shipping calculator was having a lot of problems. When I uh, was making the order, it had two options for either shipping, UPS or uh, I, I guess just the USPS. U.S. Post Office. Um, only the Post Office option was selectable. It turns out that UPS is changing their prices and so they couldn't have UPS be an option, but in the notes you can fill out uh, that you want to ship by UPS. I, I just put in the notes I want the cheapest option. Now when I set it up to ship by the Post Office, it gave me a shipping price of about $35 and I thought that was that was okay. I mean, I ordered six boxes and 60 frames. It's probably going to be pretty heavy, $35. That's acceptable. So I went ahead and ordered it, uh, specifying the notes that I'll just take the cheapest option with whatever that may be. I'm not in a hurry to get these things. And when I got the shipping notification and the invoice, I was show, uh, showed that the price ended up being $75. So the price doubled to ship. And I contacted them and asked why that happened. The shipping calculator had, had, showed, had quoted me a price of 35 and then it doubled. Um, and they explained that the shipping calculator is something new that they're trying out this year and they still haven't worked out all the bugs. So to me, the shipping costs alone are a deal breaker with Kelly Bees. I love their boxes are, are great. Um, I do, I, I like the, you know, these, the option of having these foundationless frames. But given that I can just turn a, a regular frame with the, the wedge into a foundationless and buy locally and save all of that shipping cost, um, I think I'm going to be sticking with rule B as, as, as difficult as it is to try to find 
uh, consistency in their quality. And I do have the ideas of um, trying to make my own boxes and see how that works out. Looking at prices of wood and prices, comparing that to a, a box that's already cut up for you, it doesn't seem like I'll be saving any money, but at least I'll be able to uh, scratch that itch and make a better quality box. Uh, both the frames and the boxes that Kelly B's ships uh, come with the nails that you need for assembly as well as some instructions. The assembly instructions for the frame specify using a one and a quarter inch nail and a one inch nail and they sent with the frames a couple bags of nails and I started looking through them and was finding nails of all different sizes uh, but they all seem to be right around the one and a quarter inch mark some of them are as small as one and an eighth. Some are the one and a quarter inch nail. Um, it, <laughs> I thought maybe there would be one inch nails in one bag and one and a quarter inch nails in the other, but they're all the same size. Essentially, I I don't I wouldn't go about trying to sort them. They're too much of a pain to sort, and uh, there's no one inch nails in here. So uh, I'm probably not even going to use these nails and get my own. I, because of the way that I assemble the frames, I'm going to be using all one inch or even three quarter inch. The boxes, the nails for the, the supers, are actually good quality nails. So that's nice. Uh, when I buy boxes and frames from Rule B, I have to buy the nails separately. And I, I think that's just ridiculous. You have to you need nails to put these things together. I it'd be nice if they just, you know, when you buy boxes, they give you nails. Uh, instead of having to buy them separate or you know going to a shop and buying them at a hardware store.